Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a new feature on DXP Cloud that we just released called Secrets. So the idea of Secrets is that you can store any kind of sensitive or private data within DXP Cloud. In the past, the only way to store different configurations was through the environment variables. And what we're doing now is adding an extra layer of security on top of that and extending that uh, to another level. So in this video, I'm going to do a walkthrough of that feature and hopefully you'll be able to understand how you can apply these concepts within your own project. So let's take a look here. I have one project with four different environments and let's go to the development environment. There's nothing new here. My services, my latest deployment, my activities. And when I go to settings, you're going to see a new section here. This is the secrets section that we've been talking about. So you're going to notice some secrets that are already pre-configured in your project. So whenever we provision a new project on GXP Cloud, we already include those secrets for you. And they are the database name, the database password, the database user. And those, those secrets, they can be used in different uh, in services in different ways. So let's take a look on the database name, for example. This is the screen that you can see everything about your secret. I love this screen because in one place, you can see all the different informations that you need. For example, you have the entity name here, the secret that you define. You have a description, a friendly name that you can include here for your team to understand what exactly uh, does that mean within the system. There's also who created, where this has been used, what was the latest update. So in one place, you can see all that useful information. You can see the value if you have permissions. In this case, I'm an admin on this project, so I can just click view and then we decrypt the value and show exactly what it is. In this case, just L portal. I can also see what is that, where is that secret being used? And this is also really interesting because you can create just one secret and reuse that secret in different services. You can also use any type of environment, environment variable name that you want. In this case, we just use the same for clarity. You can also change the access control. As I said before, we're creating one secret here with just admin permissions, but I can change that to contributors and guests to also be able to see that value, if that makes sense in your project. And another piece that I like a lot is the activities. So instead of going to the activities page and looking for all the activities that happen in your project, you can just go to this place and see all the related activities for that particular secret. And this is really interesting because you can see who viewed the value, when they viewed, if someone added it or not, if someone created, deleted, whatever the situation might be, you can see in this one particular place. So that's really interesting. Now, let's take a look on the creation of secrets. So, let's go ahead, create a new secret, and we can use something like Xenodef. I can put any description that I want and any value that I want. Now, I can choose the different types of permissions that can see my, my secret. And if I want, I can already expose that value as an environment variable right away. So let's take a look here on the web server in particular. I'm going to create a new environment variable called MySecret. That's it. Now there's a confirmation here that needs to happen where we declare that yes, once you create an environment variable, that service will restart if it's going to have some time where you're not going to be receiving requests and also uh, may behave differently if you're editing, for example, the database name, for example, this, there's going to be side effects depending on what type of secret you are editing. Now I'm going to create that secret and I can already see that right away. I can see the different configurations. And if I go to services, I can see that my web server is actually restarting right now. And if I go to environment variables, I can see that this was created uh, with the secret Xenodev as the value. So this is really cool and it's really useful for your projects. 
Now let's create a new secret on the production environment, just so we can understand the different types of permissions that we have. So here it's going to be the Zeno PRD, blah, 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 as well, one, two, three, and same permissions only admins can view, okay? In this case, I'm not going to declare and use in any uh, services yet. So what I can do is just create, and we can see that we have different users on this project. So I have a user here that is only a contributor on production and on the development environment, that user is actually an admin. So if I log in with that user, I have it here already. So we can see that this user that is admin on dev is able to see that secret and they are able to add it if they want and they can see all the activities related to that. And when they go to production, where they're just a contributor, they are gonna see a different experience. They're gonna see the secret. Yes, that secret exists, but they are not able to see the value at all. They don't, they can't see if it's being used in any service because we simply didn't attach to any service. And they can also not change the access control because they don't have permissions for that. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.